power. It just makes stuff work. Subnautica's use for power is very important. Batteries, power cells, tools, guns, and more that I won't get into. Now, I often had the question of how much power could I physically cram into one Subnautica base, but I never executed it due to a restraint of resources. So today, I'm doing something I never thought I'd have to do for a challenge. I have to start a new save file. Completely new, alright. Anyways, now that we're here, let me just quickly... Anyways, now that the story is over, nope. we can get onto the good stuff. We have four different alternatives to get some power. Solar panels, thermal reactors, bioreactors, and good old nuclear energy. And after some not so careful consideration, the nuclear power plant would be the best candidate for this. Although the cost of gain it will be quite pricey, with me needing to go to the safe shallows, mushroom forest, sparse reef, Blood Kelp, Lost Forest, and Dunes get all the stuff I need. Since I've got my hands full of all these resources I need. With that done, I eagerly packed up my old base and my Cyclops to head over to the best area for our makeshift Chernobyl, right, the Blood Kelp. Awesome might not be... This is a good spot. Yeah, this will be great. There was a bit of power issues at the start when I first got there, and it's funny enough, I still didn't have the nuclear blueprint yet, but that was quickly resolved. With the, the blueprint finding it's over, more blueprint finding. The base was slowly becoming more homey, and after an hour and a half later, it was perfect. And then I finally set off onto the 10 hour journey of collecting materials. And since the stream was really boring, we had to occupy ourselves somehow, which consisted of doing whatever this is. How's the gameplay for you guys? Let's get Here, watch this, watch this. We like, go up? I'm too good. Like, you guys have no faith in me. Oh my god! Alright, well, we did, we did it. Talking about literal subnautica. No, don't say that. I am never going to look that up in my life. Fuck, you're attractive. I'm a minor. Much more. Which I think there were a few insane people in chat. I'm going to... Oh, oh. Tell me. Fifteen thousand power. Wow. Even though the video has only been three minutes long, this has taken a long time. But it was cool to see myself be this rich with resources. Anyways, the cycle was relatively boring, which just involved me mining, putting in storage or fabricating it, bringing it back to base, searching for more stuff I already forgot. And then combine it all into a single nuclear reactor. I guess you could call it. I still need more cable core. Okay, I think I'll go over here and get. Oh, what is this? Subscribe? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm gonna save you some extra time by saying nothing but the usual happened when I was crafting these next reactors and gathering materials. I got the 70,000, had a bit of trouble with the neighboring reactors. Nope. So Oh, bro. Okay, so we reached 85,000 and then finally reached perfection. It took a while except we've reached perfection. Ah, 100,000 power, that's nice. Psych, I'm joking, that says 15,000 out of 100,000 because I still need to make the nuclear reactor rods. Oh my god. So what better way to end this hellish journey than with a montage? Hey, yo, what the okay.
Oh god, it's slowing down a little bit. <laughs> oh god. I just had to sleep. There we go, I've achieved it. It's done. 100,000 power achieved. 10 hours to put into this. I'm done. The stupid reactor rod away from me. I never want to craft another nuclear reactor again.